right. Hello, 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 and welcome, guys. I'm going to help you guys really quick with a lot of questions that you ask me. Um, one of the biggest questions you guys always ask me is, how do I measure fragrance? I get this question all the time. Um, I get these questions underneath my training videos. Um, of course, you find my training videos inside the link of any description box. If you want to learn how to make a candle, if you want to learn how to make a good candle and stop wasting money, stop going on Amazon, um, you go inside the description box and you will find uh, Diamond Shine University. And I have plenty of training videos where I tell you what size wick to use, how much fragrance, um, and so on and so forth. Um, anyway, guys, you ask me all the time, how do I measure fragrance? How do I measure fragrance? So this is a, a trick and a tool that I use. I know a lot of people um, use apps and stuff like that. You know, I never really had an app to do this. I always just did it on Google. Um, well, part of it is because I always used to make homemade soap. So that was um, a big reason why, you know, I just kind of learned percentages early on. But anyway, moving on, most companies will tell you one ounce per pound. If you guys know, not all the time will you be making 16 ounces worth of candle. Maybe you want to make one candle and you don't want to just make 16 ounces just to be able to use one ounce of fragrance. This is a good thing to do. So let's say you have um, two candles and they are seven ounces. You know, you don't weigh out your wax. You put it on a scale. Um, and I was speaking of your wax going inside uh, something and you weighing it out before you melt it down, not after you melt it down, before you melt it down. So you, you put it in there. Um, you just, you know, you got your 464, your 6006, whatever wax you're using, you got it. You don't weigh it out and it's... Um, 14 ounces. So what you would do is now let's just say you're using 10%. So you would use um 10%, you will put 10% of 14 ounces, 14 OZ. And then you will go and it will tell you 1.4 ounces. Okay, so now let's say you wanted to just, you know, you rolling with the big dogs, okay? So you wanted to do 50 ounces. You would keep that 10% up there and you would do 50 ounces, okay? And that would be five ounces of fragrance, okay? Five ounces of fragrance. So you just want to measure how much fragrance oil you to use. This is what you do every time. Let's say you just wanted to make one candle. Let's say 10% of seven ounces. That would be 0.7. Now, let's say you wanted to make some odd number like 13 ounces, Okay. Now you see 1.3. Now, if you go and it has like, let's say 1.03 or 1.0006, all you do is use that first number after the decimal. Now, if it's a couple numbers after the decimal and it's zero, then you use that first, um, the whole number, like after the zero, if that makes sense. Anyway, this is how you measure out your fragrance every time. Now, if you are using a parasoy, you should not be using 10% at all so you that 10 percent number is not for you um if you're using parasol you should never use 10 percent at 10 percent you will see black suit and i'm just going to let you know that and because parasol has paraffin in it it's already strong so you don't need to think that the more fragrance you use the stronger the candle will be because that is a lie and that is deception you will actually overload your candle when you overload your candle you will experience and uh, experience funny burning and black suit okay so i just want to make this quick video to let you guys know how to do it and let's just go ahead and just do it again let's work our you know our lovely numbers once again let's say we wanted to roll with the big dogs we're making a big old batch and let's say we're making it um 60 ounces 10 percent of 60 ounces is um six ounces now i want to i want to give you guys an odd number so let me just do 8.9 percent Okay, and you see 5.34 ounces. Of course, we're not going to find that on our most scales that we have. Okay, and you may have a scale that do that because I know there are some out there that will. Um, you would say it's 5.3. Okay, that first number after the decimal. Okay, so let's try something else. And so we say, okay, so let's say 10 ounce. Um, 10 ounce again. 0 0.8 okay so you, you use 0 0.8 you know and that will give you 8.9 percent okay so you you just take the same math with you every single time you make a candle you basically line up your wax and you say okay so i'm making five candles and my jar only holds five ounces so that's five 
10, 15, 20, 25, 25 ounces of wax. So we're going to put 25. And this is how you get it every single time. You see that? 2.2. Don't worry about the 2, 5, 0, 0. Don't worry about none of that, okay? So none of that makes sense. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, please check the description box. I have training um, every single week. We are having a, um, on Thursday, we're having some training coming up. Um, we do uh, wick, wick training within the group coaching, and also we do quick candle making workshops where I will teach you guys how to make a candle, give you guys the right wicks, give you guys the fragrance flow, all the information you need so you can stop wasting money, okay? You wasting money trying to do it on your own and trying to use Facebook. Facebook is guiding you in a dark hole, okay? So come on into the light. All right, guys.